十秒，九、八、七、六、五、四、三、二、一，点火，点火。There it is. It's been ignited. They've got a pretty good view from where they are. Exactly. Also, you have to. You have heard that the uh, technicians have reported the time, and that is a new time for calculating the orbit. So that timing is very important for calculating when it is to be separated to orbit, and then uh, this is very important for the preparation around the boondock. So you see, this is the optical track. So this can be only seen by an optical telescope. And we're hearing series of. Uh, it's already in the cloud, I think, it's, so you cannot see very you clearly. You can see the, the flames there. Yeah. But despite the uh, cloudy conditions, I think they're managing to yeah. get a pretty good view. But the cloud was there for three days and four days. They have just seen for 30, sec uh, 30 seconds. <laughs> So this, this is the, the camera on board the main booster. So you're seeing two of the strap-on boosters on uh, left and right. So this is on the core segment. Uh, you'll see very soon that this uh, uh, strap-on booster will be separated from the main engine, uh, from the main body of the rocket. And we can expect that in just a, a few minutes, perhaps? Yes, I think uh, it's happening uh, uh, any minute now. So uh, we're seeing that. So you can see that there are five flames. One is the core flame that is... Uh, hydrogen and oxygen mm. so this engine has very it's burning out a little bit isn't it yeah but you know this is the, the engine is uh, very particular because uh, it's the higher it flies the more powerful it is i mean what we call it the the ratio uh proportion ratio uh is more efficient uh, once in outer space but the kerosene is more efficient on the ground uh -huh. so we're using the kerosene as a booster uh, and then the uh, hydrogen and oxygen will be used uh, for outer space flight. So you're seeing these uh, strap-on boosters will be separate very soon, uh, once the fuel is burned out. Mm. Uh, they will be falling into the Pacific, yes. Uh, well, that's the whole trajectory they designed this uh, launch, pad, uh, launch site in Hainan, so that it does not fall on the ground in uh, habitat area. And then we're seeing that little, that's uh, a simulation. So that's the simulation. This, you see the, uh, th this is burning out, so the flame is not as, uh, as uh, powerful. So mm. it will have a separation very soon. And then will they, uh, will they be retrieved at all? Or will um, they just be sort of left? Current plan is, uh, is uh, drop into the ocean and give it to the fish. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but we'll have, we do have, we see this uh, separation. So that will be dropped already. <laughs> so now the core engine is the only engine that works. Uh, uh, we call it uh, YF-77. This is uh, the new generation liquid carriers, carriers, uh, uh, hydrogen and oxygen engine. So this, I think, is inside the fairing. So the next maneuver is the separation of fairing. Once in outer space, we call it uh, 110 kilometers altitude, mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the fairing will be separate. You can see the middle is the seam of the fairing. We're using some uh, pyrotechnics to, to separate the fairing uh, once it's in, in, out, uh, in altitude mm. uh, because there's no atmosphere to drag uh, uh, the rocket. So you see the separation of the fairing. Uh, so the fairing has been dropped. So the... This is all very quick, isn't it? So, yes. So now that means that the rocket is in outer space. There's no atmosphere at, the, at this moment. So you're seeing the images now is the, uh, the Meng Tian itself, the, uh, the, space, uh, the segment itself. So you see they shut off the engine. So that means the, the separation oh, right. is happening. It's happening right now. Yeah. No, it is the Meng Tian module separating from yes. the Long Mars rocket. What you see that's is the, the, that's that's, from the rocket that's the rocket itself. itself. Yeah. Yeah. So the camera is on the rocket, but we're seeing the Meng Tian yeah. separating from it. 